Do I have to have a, a spoiler alert for a movie that came out two years ago? Because, uh, spoiler alert. Oh, also, I put up a Christmas tree! It's Drewski McGillicuddy's Better Watch Out Movie Review. Hey everybody, it's Drewski McGillicuddy, and I figured, what the hell, let's watch a, a holiday movie. I just watched Planes, Trains, and Automobile. Let's watch a, a Christmas movie uh, before Christmas. And I'm glad I watched this before Christmas, because this movie put me in a mood, uh, okay? Uh, and that's Better Watch Out from 2016. It's a Shutter exclusive, so if you have Amazon Prime and you have the uh, special Shutter package, you can watch this movie. And this movie also came out two years ago, so if I accidentally spoil it for you, uh, that's what the intro is for. Uh, anyway, I don't know how uh, this movie wasn't spoiled for me, because I watched pretty much everybody's review when it first came out, and I, you know, I just put it off and put it off, uh, and I finally got around to watching it. And... A lot of people on IMDb have been hating on this movie, like saying that you'll want to turn it off after 40 minutes, that it wasn't funny or disturbing. Now, I can say I did not find it uh, very humorous. Uh, I did think the parents at the beginning of the movie were funny uh, because he was looking for, uh, the, the dad was looking for his ornaments and the mom, uh, br bring or when she looks at the box of ornaments, she says, have you, are you sure you've never sucked another man's cock? And that made me giggle. Uh, I thought the mom and the dad were pretty funny. The dad was played by the guy that plays Joe Swanson on uh, Family Guy. Uh, so he's got one of those memorable voices. Uh, but yeah, this movie isn't anything like it's advertised in a trailer. I almost wanted to go back and watch the trailer before I did the review just so I could be like, yeah, here you go. Here's my example. But you know what? I figured, you know, to hell with that. We'll just talk about the movie. Also, another thing I wanted to do was go back and watch some other reviews and see how they talked about it without spoiling it. But I figured since it's been so long, if I spoil the fact that this movie takes a left turn, which you almost see coming, uh, basically... Uh, this girl's babysitting this kid, and it's it's her last time babysitting him. She's moving off to college, and uh, he's trying to put the moves on her. Well, she doesn't take kindly to you know back, back to says, You're crazy. No, we can't do that. Blah 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 blah. Boyfriend this, boyfriend that. Blah 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 blah. And then you know the next thing you know, there's somebody trying to get in the house. Somebody keeps calling on the phone. And, you know, it gets pretty suspenseful. But then, you know, come to find out, it's it's the kid, you know, just trying to scare her. And then it starts escalating. Uh, and then, yeah, this movie gets pretty crazy. Uh, it's almost like watching Funny Games. If you've ever seen Funny Games, uh, that's what this kid reminded me of one of the guys from Funny Games. But for some reason... Uh, I don't know. There was just something about this kid that I, I it, his performance was good. It's just, there's something about it. I didn't like him, but maybe it was meant to be like that because, you know, I kept thinking, how the hell is he going to get away with this? And then when you find out how he's going to get away with it, you're like, well, you know, hell yeah. But you're like, wait a minute. No, no, I don't want him to get away with this because, you know, the girl that played the babysitter, she was a nice girl. I liked her a lot. And, you know, yeah, I don't really want to spoil anything. I, I mean, I already spoiled the fact that whatever. Because they don't tell you the plot and shit. But, yeah, have you have y'all seen this movie? It pissed me off. Honestly, the movie pissed me off because it didn't end. It sort of ended the way I wanted it to end, but... Should I just talk about it? What do you think? What time is it? Well, apparently, according to this, we <clears throat> should have finished watching the credits. Uh-oh. Because well, after the first set of credits, there's a scene 
with Luke saying he's worried about Ashley and wants to go to the hospital to check up on her. Oh, see, you, you already ruined it. So we'll just talk about it. So, uh, yeah, he kills everybody. This kid kills everybody, or so you think. Uh, he, 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 he gets, he gets, because the whole time I was watching the movie, I was like, why are there, I, I still don't understand what the hell the deal with the high doorknobs are. All the, all the doors in the house had high doorknobs, I guess, because he slept, walked, sleepwalked when he was a, a, a child or something. Uh, but that's all beside the point, because this kid's fucking crazy, he needs therapy, uh, and he needs the shit beat out of him. Uh, because, you know, they, they home alone this one dude. Which I thought was really cool and really disturbing. Other than the fact that I watched this movie on accident with a seven-year-old in the room. Uh, hopefully he's not been traumatized. Are you traumatized? He said he's, he's not traumatized. I mean, that kind of kind of rubbed me the wrong way. The fact that this movie wasn't advertised to be funny games on Christmas. Because, uh, yeah, they paint can the guy. And then I thought the the hanging with the other guy was really cool, uh, but then when uh, what what was his friend's name? Garrett. Garrett. Uh, yeah, that wasn't cool, dude. That whole scene it, it kind of turned my stomach, uh, especially because he, he, he. Spoiler alert! Yeah, we're just gonna ruin it. When he shoots him with a shotgun for uh, trying to, like well, he, he kisses. What's her name on the cheek? Oh, I know, I know, I know. I'm Ashley. terrible. I know, I'm terrible. Anyway, he kisses Ashley on the cheek. And then he shoots him with a shotgun. And when he says, you know, he call him a fucking asshole. I, why, look what you made me do. And he realizes, oh, this is serious. I'm dying. And then he goes, I want my mommy. And as soon as he said, I want my mommy, it hurt me. And then the fact that then he, then he shot him in the fucking face. And it's like, oh my God. It almost, shot him while he was saying, I want my mommy. Yeah, shot him while he was saying, I want my mommy. Like, that... Like, how 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 the fuck is this supposed to be a fun holiday time? I mean, this movie... Is, like, that's... I mean, it was a well-directed movie. It was a good, solid story. But the way they advertised it and what I was expecting and what I got were two different things. And it fucking pisses me off. Because it kind of fucked with me. I wasn't expecting something this dark and disturbing. Uh, so yeah, I'm glad I didn't watch it closer to Christmas because it would have ruined my holiday. Because I already had a, a really fun day. But we're not going to talk. We're not here to talk about that. You just ruined the framing. Uh, anyway, this movie deserves what it has. That's, that's the rating. It's got a it's got a six point five, so I'm giving it a six point five. It's worth a watch. It's not what you expect, uh, but is it going to hold up over time? Who's to say? Who's to say? Maybe I'll watch it again. Maybe I'll change my rating. But it, it, as of now, I agree with the the IMDb algorithm with a six point five. Uh, anyway. Uh, I can't wait to start watching my Christmas movies and my Christmas horror movies. Because guess what, everybody? I've never seen Krampus. So we're going to go watch some Krampus up in this bitch. And I'm going to let you know what I think about it. So make sure you stay tuned for that shit. Also, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Uh, and I might, I might, I might, I don't know. I don't know. Does, does this look alright? Let me know in the comments section down below if this looks alright. Because, you know... Christmas. Oh, не дай се сърди, не дай се чупи, не дай да тъжиш, а повярвай ми ти, че дядо коледа идва в града.